It's MAB 2024. We're on the broadcast Bionics booth here in Central Hall, and I'm with Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi. Dan, we're looking at the virtual rack here, which we've spoken about before, but just give us a quick recap of what it does and who it's aimed at. Yeah, so we introduced virtual rack last year, uh, and a lot of vendors are providing their what was previously hardware as software in this form as, as Docker containers. Yep. And so customers are really struggling with the complexity of all the parameters that you need to get the hardware right, the operating mm -hmm. system, the firmware, the BIOS. And uh, you know, what we wanted to do is to really simplify that process. So we don't really talk about containers or Docker. What we provide is a virtual rack appliance. Right. So we don't even really use the word server. It's just a broadcast piece of equipment. It's an yeah. appliance. You never see Linux. You never see a command line. Right. You simply plug it into your physical rack, power a network into the back. And then from there, we offer this really simple virtual rack interface into which you can plug broadcast equipment. Uh, and nice. So it's the orchestration platform that gives you an application library of all these different functions that you can plug into that virtual rack. They're all tested by us and they're scaled by us. So we will tell you this is a virtual rack uh, 16. So that means I have 16 rack units or virtual rack units of yep. space. So I could plug in 16 small things or four large things. Gotcha. So it makes it easy to, to so install. So you imagine like a physical rack, you've only got a certain amount of space. And the same with your virtual rack. Yeah, so it takes the complexity of CPU pinning and core affinity and Mac VLANs and Linux, all that disappears. We just say, what you really want is a virtual rack of broadcast yeah, yeah. equipment. You simply plug in these applications yep. and each one then acts like it's it's the original appliance. Cool. Okay, so new for NAB? So new for NAB, we've, we've got some features in our own software, but the main thing we're showing here now is that we have a lot of other vendors. So we have right. Telos in there, we have Sound4, we have 2WCOM, we have Ferncast. So that means for the first time, we actually have the entire air chain. So here I've got a Sound4 big voice. This is a voice processor. So that's the microphone coming into your system. That's doing your, your voice processing. Uh, all the way through here to this is the Telos Forza. And at the show, they're launching the Forza FM. So this is the final stage FM processor. So literally right, okay. from your microphone in to a mic processor to an Altus, which is a software mixer. So now we've got a surface here where you can mix that together in software right, okay. to a codec bringing in outside sources to a streaming processor to the final FM processor. So yeah. rather than just being a virtual rack, just for some utility functions like codecs or uh, a small amount of mixing, we can actually now offer the entire air chain yeah, for yeah. a radio station. So you could have a 2U box, which is your main or maybe your backup um, you know, entire workflow. Wow. And are these updates available now? Yes, absolutely. All of this is uh, available from us. And where can people find out more information? Uh, we're just bionic.radio. Dan, thank you very much indeed. Do check out bionic.radio for the virtual rack and everything else we've been talking to them about at the show. And for everything else we've been doing at NAB, that's at kitplus.com.